what's up guys, Todd here from Whale Guitar and in today's lesson we are checking out Gold on the Ceiling by the Black Keys. Now uh, this song is, uh, is a really really awesome kind of bluesy rock tune, um, lots of cool sort of swinging parts in this song. Uh, it's not a straight song at all, it's, it's got a lot of swing feel to it which we'll talk about and which is a big actual takeaway of this lesson. Um, the other thing we're going to be looking at mainly in this lesson is not only the parts that, that are actually in the song, um, we're going to look at the lead parts that happen over the top. So there's a part um, in the chorus which is that kind of... Which is, which is actually played like by a synth, okay? So we're going to look at how to play that on the guitar uh, and which scale that comes from. Uh, also the lead part, the, the little... The solo part. So they both come from pentatonic minor scales uh, and uh, what I would call position one and position two. So we're going to look at both of them. Uh, we're also going to look at uh, the bar chords and the power chords. Um, so if you listen to it on record, um, there's quite a few different kind of things going on there. There's some bar chords and power chords and things like that. So we'll look at absolutely every single part that that's, it happens in the song. Um, yeah, so the main takeaways will be that swing feel, um, the, the, the power chords and bar chords and also um, the, the pentatonic shapes and the lead parts, okay? So when we zoom in in a minute and check out the chords and the, and the structure of the song, um, don't forget that if you're ever struggling with any of these chords, click in the, in the description below. We have a link to uh, the Wailing With Chords uh, course where uh, we absolutely delve into everything to do with chords, bar chords, power chords, you name it, it's in there. So if you're struggling with anything like that, go to there. Uh, and also the other thing is if you can do us a quick favor, if you, uh, if you like the videos that we're putting out and the lessons, please uh, hit subscribe and, uh, and write a comment. We'd love to hear from you and if you have any suggestions for songs as well, that would be awesome as well. So uh, we're going to start off with um, yeah, zooming in and looking at the intro part, which is this kind of uh, this part on the guitar sort of thing. Um, so we'll zoom in, we'll look at that, then we'll go through the, uh, it's just basically like a verse, uh, sorry, there's the intro and a verse and chorusy parts, and we'll look at the, the parts that overlap, the obviously lead parts as well. Here we go, let's zoom in. Okay, guys, now that we've zoomed in, we're going to check out the, uh, the intro section. So we'll, I'll, sh I'll start by showing you the intro riff, uh, and then um, the first half, and then the second half, which we can look at uh, the chords, the bar chords, power chords, and the synth kind of melody over the top. So let me just play for you the intro part, and then we'll check it out a bit slower, okay? So it goes like this. Let's start. So first finger is on the fifth fret on the uh, uh, fourth string. This is a G note here. We're going to be starting there. The third finger is going to be playing the string below it, but on fret seven. So we're going to be. This is like a power chord kind of shape. So we're going to be going and then go back to this note. So we're going to go slide it back two frets to number three. Okay. So it goes and then so fret five with the third finger on the third string. Okay, so it goes. Okay, that's the movement. So again, slide, fifth fret, back to the third fret uh, on the fourth string, and then we're going to go stretch the little finger up to the seventh fret on the third string, back to five on the third string of the third finger. So that again. Now we're going to do the same movement, but starting on the 5th fret on the uh, A string, or the 5th string. So it's exactly the same movement, we're just taking everything up a string and uh, starting on the 5th fret. So let me go from the start again. Next one. We're then going to go down to fret 1 on the A string. So fret number one on the A string to the uh, third fret on the D, slide it up to the third fret. So, so we do a bit of a slide up and a slide down. So that is. Okay, and then we're into the riff. Let me play that section again for you. really just beginning, just start by breaking it down into sections, so you might just want to go, just start with that, you know, 
and then just add a note on and just start super slow and then try to get it a bit quicker. So the whole thing. And then we're going into this riff. So we're going to be playing a G note, third fret on the thicker string. And we're going to be doing this kind of with a swing feel, which I mentioned earlier. So I'm doing this kind of palm meeting with my uh, with my uh, my right hand. Remember, with palm meeting, we use this part of your picking hand, and you you are holding it on top of the thickest. Well, at this moment, on the thick string, just in front of the saddle on the bridge. So that'll be. Um, and I'm just hitting the third fret with my third finger on the A string, and then the first fret. This is our B flat. Back to the G. So we do this four times. Okay. Now this is a swing feel where we have this kind of like swinging kind of ding, 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 as opposed to if I played it straight, it would sound like this. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and really consistent kind of mechanical sound. But this is kind of a swing feel. So think of the notes as long, short, long, short, da, 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 one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. second half of this intro is the same as our chorus. We're going to be looking at uh, three different bar chords here. So the first one is a G major chord. So first finger completely barred down the third fret. We're going to have third finger on the fifth uh, fret on the A string, little finger just below that, second finger fret number four on the third string. And it's your G major. Now if you slide this back to, uh, to the first fret, so your first finger's on fret one, this is an F major, same shape. We're going to be playing a C major, so we're going to be having the third, uh, first finger on the third fret on the A string, and then we're going to be barring with our th third finger on the fifth fret on the second, third, and fourth string. Playing the four middle strings, back to the G major. There are three chords in the entire song, okay? Um, so remember, if you're having any trouble with these chords, check out the Wayland well Chords guitar course, we go through them all. Um, so uh, if you didn't want to play them, uh, well, another option is to do them as power chords. So just remove the second finger and this F and G, the G and the F, and you can just play the top two or three strings. And that's the strum I'm going to use for this. So it'd be down, down, up, up, down, up, to the F. Once again, if you want to do it as a power chord, take the middle finger off, to the C, back to the G. I'll do it this time with a major chord, so middle finger on for this one. And bar to the first finger. C major to the G. Now the other thing, if you actually listen to the record, and that's another thing really importantly, make sure you know the song completely inside and out. You'll hear that uh, Dan on the guitar is just playing the single notes, even through this whole section. B flat G. Have it pre recorded here, and then over the top of that, we have our. Now that's um, using a G minor pentatonic position too, and I'll show you them at the end of the video. I'll show you how to play these parts now, but if you really want to get and understand how to play these um, these scales, uh, you can you can stick around at the end. So for this me uh, melody part over the top, third finger on the eighth fret on the second string, and then you're going to go eight six on the same string. So you're going to go eight eight six seven on the string above it. Back to the six. So I'm using my third, second, and uh, first finger. So back to the eight, seven this time with my third finger because I'm going to five. Okay, so we've got two, three, two, three. Back to the seven, seven, six, seven, eight, two. Three, eight, six on the top string, back to the eight, and we kind of do that again. Eight, six, seven, six. Eight, six, seven, five on the third string. Seven, six, seven, eight. That's the whole thing. Let me play it again for you.
and then we go into our ver uh, sorry into our verse yeah so in our verse uh, if you listen to the record there is an acoustic guitar playing as well uh, um, and then we also have our single notes um, chord progression as well so we're going to be going pretty much the same movement right so it's uh, down movement is just the G note to the F first fret to the C on the A string quickly on the B flat which is fret one back to the G we'll do that whole part twice okay uh, you can also play chords if you want to do I'm going to stick to the single notes uh, just because you can hear that more prominently on the record. Now the part after that we go to the uh, uh, to the G. So it'd be like F to the open E to the B flat to the G. Okay. If you were playing that as chords, you'd be F major. And then for the E, you can play that actually as a C power chord, but with an E in the bass. So that part would be F, C power chord with an E in the bass, to the G. And over the top of that would be F, open E, B flat, C, uh, G. And that's our whole verse, okay? Let's check out the chorus. We're going to be going power chords. That is F, C, G, G, F, G, and F, F, C, C, F, G. So this is the, remember the power chord shape is just first finger uh, on the root note. So in this case, start uh, on the G. Third finger would be the string below it and two frets up, little finger below that. That's our power chord shape. Doesn't matter if you start it here or here or here or down the string, okay? So we're going F, C, C, G, G, F, G, and F, F. C, C, F, G. They want to get my again. And they want to get my. And then we have our chord progression, which is the same as what we did in the intro. Uh, go on the ceiling. And just. Uh, sorry. I think I'm just a matter of time before to the F. C, B flat G, so that, um, again, that was the single note version. Uh, also, in that first part where it's, that's the power chords. If you had another guitar player, they might be playing the, the like, you can hear it on the record. It sounds like it's like, uh, uh. Same notes, but part of our G minor pentatonic shape, which we'll look at at the end of the end of the song. So that's just the first finger, or whichever finger you want. But I'm going to go for first on the 15th fret on the fourth string, and then third finger on the 17 on the third string, and then 15 sorry 17, but on the D string. Hopefully you can see that okay. So that could go along with those power chords. So the second half, yeah. So G F. Just a matter of time before you steal it down. Up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So once again, I'm doing that with a swing feel. That's down. It's not going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. That's straight. We're going swing. So. Now over the top of that section of the solo, uh, sorry, the, the chorus, we have the same thing there. Then the lead part after that. Check that part out. So, we're in position one pentatonic minor. So, 
basically that scale shape, if you were to play it uh, in, in G, you could, you could play the, the scale on the third fret. Remember, this is all just shapes and patterns, so we're just going by finger numbers. So if I'm playing G minor pentatonic in position one, it's the first finger that doesn't stray from the G. So if it's here, it's G on the uh, third fret, or G up here on the uh, 15th fret. It's the same shape, right? So it's one, I'm going by finger numbers. So one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Same, same shape, but we're gonna do it on the octave up. So on the G up here on the 15th fret. So first finger's in 15, means second finger will take care of 16, third finger 17, little finger 18. Now we're only gonna be using first and third and fourth finger. So we're gonna go on the top string, thicker string, one, four, then one, three on the next string, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. That's our G minor pentatonic, position one. That's where we're using our, uh, to play this lead part, okay? So we're starting with our third finger on the 17th fret within this scale. We're doing a bend. So with a bend, just remember, you need your second and first finger to help you bend that note up, okay? So if you kind of, I see people trying to bend with one finger like this, that finger gets stuck under the string above it. You gotta have your fingers right on their tips. Use your second and first finger in the two frets behind that note to help you bend that up. You're gonna push lots of pressure on the fretboard because you gotta bend it back down because a lot of the time I hear this, and it, it, the sound disappears when they bend it back down because they're not pushing hard enough. So it's bend it up, bend it back down. So it's and then a pull off. So a pull off is when you play the note and tweak that third finger off. So it's and then we're hitting the 17th fret on the string above that. Okay, so it's back to uh, uh, 15 on the third string. So it's then back to this note. So that's. Then we're gonna go hammer on. So we've got and again. Then we're gonna go 17 and a slide. So we're gonna go 17, 15, 17, 15. We do that twice. And then we're gonna slide from 17 to 15 on the A string like that. And then we're gonna go first finger on 13, 15, 13. So that whole section is. Hope you can see that okay. The next part is almost the same. It's a little bit different. This part's the same. Okay, that's that whole part. It goes like this. Okay, and that's pretty much it after your solo there. We go back to verse two. Let's just go through the rest of the song. It's the same, once you've got to this point, you've played everything of the song, okay, pretty much. So after that, we go to verse two, which is, um, I'm just gonna play the individual notes. Uh, section again for our second chorus to finish off and they want to get my they want to get my
so we can keep doing that. And we go double chorus at the end, so we go back into it. goes like this. So it's like just going a, a G, 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 C, B flat, first fret on the A string. Four times. So that's all the section, so I hope you've enjoyed that. What we're going to do right now is, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to check out the uh, pentatonic minor shape. So as I mentioned, yeah, we do know position one already. We checked that out earlier. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Now listen to this. This is position one. And this is position two. They sound exactly the same because they're exactly the same notes. We're just making use of how uh, the, the different shapes lock into each other. So like, for example, you know, it's like the same sounding notes, but in a different place on the fretboard, okay? So position two goes like this. You still start on the G on the, fifth, on the third fret, but where your little finger would normally land on the sixth fret, you're gonna move your second finger there. It goes like this, first finger, then second finger on six, little finger on eight, first finger on five, little finger on eight again, first finger on five, little finger on eight again, now we're gonna go first finger on five again. Now we're gonna to go to seven, but instead of using our third, we're gonna stretch our second, because on the next string, we're gonna move our first finger forward to play the sixth fret. Third finger on the eight, first finger on six, third finger on eight. And that's position two, so it sounds like this. Notice this whole melody, all pentatonic minor two, position two. Okay, so let's have a listen to how that was. I'll just play the scale. So start by just learning, just play the scale slowly to get you them under your fingers. So we. Stretch the second, one, three, one, three, and back down. And then you can just start using this to improvise. All position two. Trying to get one and two, so one and... Sliding into two like that. So have a bit of fun with that. But that's basically uh, pentatonic minor position one and two. You, look, we did start on the third fret here. Remember, you can do that up also on the 15th fret because that's the same note. You can do position two up here. Okay, same thing. That's it. There you have it guys, that is Gold on the Ceiling by The Black Keys. I hope you really enjoyed the lesson. Uh, please once again subscribe and write a comment if you want to uh, let us know how you're going. We'd love to hear from you. Um, also remember the big takeaways from this lesson was uh, obviously our like power chords and bar chords. Uh, also our swing feel and getting that kind of the uh, just that swing feel happen, happening as opposed to like a straight feel uh, and the other thing was our minor pentatonic position one and position two and how we can use them to create solos and, and lead lines and stuff like that okay so uh, keep practicing please let me know how you go and I'd love to hear from you and uh, I'll see you in the next video take it easy Thank you.